Yo, what's good? It's your boy Taj, and welcome back to my channel. And today, you already know what it is. It's Monday. It's All American Day. You already know. Um, last week, someone said that they wish that, and I agree with it. But on Twitter, someone said that they wish that um homecoming came on a different day. And I'm kinda in the same boat, cause you know, I would love to react to it, but I just need some time to like digest everything that we got from you know all american and then we go right into homecoming then i gotta deal with that and it's like all right that's too much hitting me at one time and i do think it should be on a different day i understand why it's not for the first season but next season they might want to put them on different days at least to me that's just how i feel um i might be in the minority but it is what it is but this episode we already know it's gonna be dealing with poop and the whole murder of mo and i don't care for it and i'm over it so <sighs> let's just get into it also you can follow me on instagram and twitter the links will be in the description i'm trying to reach 1k this year and uh yeah like and subscribe share with your friends and uh let's get into the video now you cannot brush this off man there needs to be a plan yeah i'm with spence i could be looking at some major time man yeah something that could have been avoided have you and preach just been honest from the jump trust me if coop stays true to her statement we good I don't like this plan. The floor is all yours. So get on all fours, hips up, toes down. Hey, what's up, baby? Why are you talking ah. to yourself? I'm not talking to myself. I'm listening to JJ's Nimble as a Rubber Thimble podcast. One problem though, I ain't got no hiking shoes. It's a hike. You can literally wear anything. Yeah, anything not named Yeezy or Air Force One or Cortez. Okay, fine. <laughs> we will stop by your mom's house and we'll get you an old pair of shoes. So what's up? You need a Zentor? Depends. You gonna have me talking to myself? What? My job, right? <laughs> Let's go! Reducing my role. Look, I have been doing this for 30 years, Layla. Between the tours, the countless hours in the studios, it's a lot. It's uh, not a tread on my tires. Hey, there Hold you go. On. What's happening? Hey, Coach, Yeah. before we forget, we had a few ideas about the art installation. Yeah. OK, welcome in. You're under arrest for the murder of Monique Moore. What? No, 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 there must be, there must be some misunderstanding here. Oh, what? my god. Man, see, Preach was doing a good job, man. This man found a gig that he loved doing. You know, the, the, the students, they gravitate towards him, man. This is whack, man. I knew this BS was going to happen, bro. They should have been honest from the jump, man, and none of this would be happening. This sucks, man. And you already know we had to get a little, a little sexy time between Spolivia in the beginning of the episode. I appreciate it. I see y'all. Preach got arrested at school today for murdering Mo. Oh my God! Now, hold up, Preach was arrested. This is exactly why I warned Billy not to bring Preach into the school, I'm trying to protect Coop. But Billy's actions meant that Preach was on school property when he got arrested. Jabari was traumatized. God knows who else. No what happened. Did a witness come forward? After all these months? I mean, that's how it works sometimes in cases like this. I mean, a witness or no witness, it was self-defense. Unless the witness saw it different. I am on your side, Coop. I've always been here. And the facts are, your lie has been exposed. So we just have to figure out what's next. Do you, do you think your, your mom would defend him? I, I don't know. But I mean, she's familiar with the case, so. He can't hurt a try. You mean gunshots? One, singular. The video only shows you shooting Mo from the alley. Wow. But I need a favor. Amina. I need to finally tell her the truth no matter the cost. Man, I don't know how this about to go down. He about to uh, he about to tell Amina what really happened, bro. And I hate stuff like this. The witness really only caught one part of it. Come on now. You told me nobody heard the first shot. Well, they might have heard it and then came out and saw what happened. But anyway. They waited till they got arrested to try to flip the script and get somebody else arrested to get them some time off. That's crazy to me, man. Oh, I hate it, bro. I hate it, man. All because, like, 
Yo, she, I hate this Mo storyline. It's her fault this whole thing happened. And she got mad because another person killed her brother, but want to blame it on Coop because Coop got him arrested. Coop didn't kill him. He's clearly dying. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold what on. What the hell? Let's rewind, okay, because that just took a turn. You and your dad go to dinner tonight. Look, I'll just be there for moral support. All right, you can ask him the questions that you're scared to ask. And whatever the answer is, we'll deal with it. I mean, from your lack of experience, from Preacher's arrest. Which I had nothing to do with. And whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty? It's all about the optics. I'm just letting you know, I'm gonna do whatever I need to do to remain principal, so. Yeah, I had my doubts at first. And maybe she had to twist my arm a little, but once I landed in that hallway, it was like something clicked. An athlete and a coach, but now I get to be an educator too, and it's like a different muscle to flex. It's, it's a muscle I never even knew I had. Make this up to you. But I promise. Can we go now? Um, of course. Damn, brother. Not gonna lie. Y'all probably can't tell, but I was tearing up a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. That was a heartfelt moment, man. That was well acted. Man, shouts out to Kareem, bro. That was crazy. Um, I didn't expect this storyline to be so focused on Preach. I thought it was going to have a lot to do with Coop, but I'm enjoying it way better now that it's focused on Preach. And the stuff with Amina, like, ah, ah, it's sad, man. Because he might go to jail and never see his daughter. But even if he don't go to jail, like, she's never going to forgive him for what happened. <sighs> this sucks. Mo literally shot me two seconds before Preach let off his shot. Are you sure that the gunshots occurred that close together? One thousand percent. You lied to me about the shooting. Look, can we go somewhere a little more private and talk about this? If you tell me why now, or I'm gonna scream. Dying. Did you tell him? <laughs> The food might have happened. I mean, the food, the questions from today, all the checking in texts. I had a feeling that mind of yours was going to go there. Happy. I am. Good for you, Dad. <clears throat> um, do you have any, any pics of, of Aaron? Yeah, yeah. But you didn't shoot him. That old woman did. It didn't matter. She blamed me. And that's honestly why she shot me and he would have saved their life. That's the difference between your pop and most people. He used to always say, keep your chin up so your crown don't fall. You think you could do that for me? Well, Preach is the dopest tutor you ever had. So give that man his flowers. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Right? I had the wow. analysts confirm that the first gunshot was not from you, it was from Mo. But other than that, you're good. What you mean I'm good? Thank you, Laura. Cardell Sims, you are officially a free man. <laughs> yeah, Laura. I'm up here tearing up. You know what? Thank you for technology. Oh my gosh, I was nervous, bro. Man, I hope after this episode, the Mo storyline is over. Please don't bring anything to it. Leave Preach alone. Coop, can you learn how to not get in trouble and just get in the street with people, please? Thank you. And just, I just need no stress the rest of this season, please. I know we're going to get it, but at least from this side, let this storyline be done. Because I'm bored of it. It should have been over last season. You're not a distraction. The kids love you. I appreciate you, coach. Look, you've been solid from the rip. But I can't come back. Not right now. 
bitches out and all that is behind us, I'm gonna make it up to you. No, no, Coop, it's... No, no, I'm serious, okay? I'm talking fresh start, clean sleep. Me and you. Permission to meet her. Look, no matter how much your dad might be into Aaron, you're still the most important woman in his life, Layla. He's not gonna introduce the two of you until he knows you're okay with this. And that Preach shares her heart, her patience, and her ability to connect with students in a way that not many people can. It doesn't mean that the system is my future. He also showed me the possibility of what my future could look like, despite my past. And I'm gonna carry that forever, thanks to him. I'd like to be his daughter. So to my dad, I say, stand strong and keep your chin up. That way your crown doesn't fall. Yeah. Sucks that we didn't get to honor Mike. I know. But it's good to be home for a few days. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Who's still yeah. He's with Cut. I still don't think you're the right person to be principal. Yo, what's up with Grace, yo? If she wanna be principal, just say that. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's kind of triggering me, man. Just you know if you want to be principal let him know you want to be principal bro like because i like honestly grace don't have a storyline like literally she don't like everybody got a storyline except her so if that's what they're alluding to that she wants to be principal let it happen and i can obviously see that they're setting up jordan and layla like they're setting it up like whether we want it or not me I want to see it first before I judge it, but I know a lot of people don't like them together or don't like the idea of it, but it's happening whether we like it or not. So we just got to wait to see how it, you know, plays out. But yeah. You know, so caught up in being a mogul that you put your life on hold. It's okay to put yourself out there again. Take a chance. The Dylan don't even go to yet. Ma, I don't think this has anything to do with coach. This is about all the changes happening in your life. Wait a minute. Just hear me out. College. Dylan is older now. And he's doing his own thing with his friends more. Principal Carter is pursuing his political dreams, which is cutting into y'all's time together. And unfortunately for Coach, it happens to be this. And I'm sure the fact that he's another man who's important in your life complicates it a little more. She, she lonely. Yeah, it's a lot changing, though. Off base, it sounded. Uh, um, thanks, I, I think. And the other reason I'm calling. Oh, the four seasons of dating, right? <laughs> okay. Right, now, cheesing season is whenever you're so in love that you just can't stop smiling. I uh, kind of like uh, you and Simone. Facts. Yeah, that's, that's us to a T. Remember our conversation at the hospital? You confessed to a crime you didn't commit. That's a whole other case. So it's me and Cooper. You're under arrest for obstruction oh, of justice. What? I'm sorry, man. I thought this storyline was going to be over. But they bring this BS back. After I thought we was past it, I'm over it. I'm over this storyline, bro. And the fact that we about to get another episode next week of this is really pissing me off. I don't want this storyline anymore. I'm done. I'm over it. Over it. And like I said earlier, they're setting up Jordan and Layla, which, like I said, I'm going to wait to see before I judge it. It is what it is, and clearly Grace is going through something, you know, like Spencer said, all the changes are happening, her kids are older, you know, a lot of her life isn't the same anymore, and she's, you know, trying to control things, and it is what it is, but this Coop stuff, Coop need to think before she act, man, because it really affects people, like, I just can't with this storyline, I'm done, I'm done, I'm pissed off, um, I'm about to go watch Homecoming. Um, I'm gonna get up out of here. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video.